Hey guys, welcome back to our channel where we explore the mesmerizing world of all things epoxy. Today, I'm excited to share a behind the scenes look from a recent hands-on training class. We'll be diving into the secrets of creating a breathtaking black and brown marble finish for countertops using epoxy. These tips are pure gold. So stick around to see how this sample board evolves into something beautiful. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. All right, so we're gonna start with black, opaque dye. We're gonna come in with the brown. This is coffee. Coffee's a little lighter than the dark frost. All right, so here we go. You're just gonna randomly put down the color. Same thing with the brown. You can come in here now with your hand. You can come in here with a magic trial. Whatever you want to do. You just want to meld these two colors to where they're touching. Being very careful not to over meld. Where we ended up having basically a black brown. Okay. All right. Use your hand. Just kind of got to get that on the board. Once you get it on the board, I don't want you to mess with it anymore don't worry about making it perfect just get all of your area covered because if you over meld you're gonna have zero separation of colors and it's really important especially in this finish that you have separation of color even though you can't see it if i were to take it over to the window you'd be able to kind of see the difference okay and this is where you guys have to really think about what you want to create what I liked about this is I used the black negative space as part of my design. Meaning I'm not just gonna just pour a bunch of the bronze. I'm gonna go a little tiny bit at a time. And I'm just gonna put just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my brush, the shed, and then very lightly, almost let just the weight of my brush very lightly brush it in and now that I have that bronze on my brush I can feather it out and just very lightly it'll pick up mm -hmm. and lay down that color if I want it now I kind of judge it and say okay that's kind of cool I like that but do I want more or do I want less so now I can come in and say you know I kind of like it to come down here maybe go up here this is going to be one of your more artistic pieces because you're really going to think about where you want your colors to be. And you recreate a really pretty piece. I did a sofa table with this and it was stunning. And I just had this kind of go around the edge of the soap of the, it was one of those little skinny ones, you know, and it just kind of flowed. Uh, on an island. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, now if you want to create more of a marble instead of an accent piece, because look how this is still morphing, guys. Look how over time the very softness of the background is starting to come out. This is this is a showstopper. This is absolutely a showstopper. You could do a table like this and people would have to come up and go, I don't know what that is. But that is stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Wow. And do you see how simple it was? Now we're gonna change the whole look by going to the next step. All right, so now let's say you really kind of want more of a marble. So now before I add more, remember you can always add more, you can never take it away. Now I'm gonna take my bundle spreader and I'm gonna kind of meld it a little more. Now I'm kind of creating more of an actual marble. Now look at this. I just marbled it. Now look at it. Completely different. Isn't that awesome? Now look at that. I didn't add any more product. All I did was marble it. So I want you guys to start really learning to use your cheap tools to create things. You don't, you don't always have to add heat. You don't always have to add more product. You can create with such Simple, simple things. Gloves. You can take a glove. You can drag across with your glove. You can create 
art, functional art, with a glove. Very easy, fun stuff. So many different things you can do and I've never even added one more drop of product. Start trusting the process. Now let's say we want to add more. Let's go full send, what do y'all think? All right, so now I'm gonna add more product. Even then I'm not going crazy. Now let's melt. I'm telling you, if you did this on an end table, or a man cave, or a bathroom that you want to look very uh, rich, very masculine. You could come in here with a big bronze uh, mirror, do your your uh, faucets and everything could be that, uh, help me out, where's Keith? Uh, rub bronze, I think they call it. Hammer. Ha yeah, or it's the black, the, 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 the uh, edges are kind of bronzy. Yep. How beautiful is this right here? And you can even come in and add your some veins. Sorry, mine went a little wonky right there. Then when you hit it with your alcohol, it fractures those veins and then you can move it. Guys, that is, that is high end right there. You do this on someone's island and I'm telling you, you will, you create things like this that aren't so busy, people don't want to put them in their house. <laughs> you create stuff like this and they're, I'm telling you, you will build a reputation of being able, being able to do really cool things, really simple.